C.S. Lewis said, The doctrine of the second coming has failed so far as we are concerned if it does not make us realize that at every moment of every year in our lives, Dawn's question, what if this present were the world's last night, is equally relevant. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and second coming of Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 296. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his word, his will, and his way. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is Romans 5.1, which reads, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Vance Havner. He said the early believers were not looking for something to happen. They were looking for someone to come. Looking for the train to arrive is one thing, but looking for someone we love to come on that train is another matter. With regard to our Lord's return, we emphasize preparation without expectation. Of course, all too generally, nothing is said of his return at all. Bringing in the kingdom is preached, but not bringing back the king I'm not looking for signs. We've had plenty of them. I'm listening for a sound. Every time you see a scoffer who says there are no signs of his coming, you've just seen another sign. I'm listening for a shout. Holy Father, God, help us to listen for that shout, that great hope of the Lord Jesus Christ coming back for us. In Jesus Christ, the name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Now, beloved, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. The way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you the way. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin, a punishment for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell because of sin and because you have never accepted the payment for sin, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. For Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew 10:28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Also the Bible states in Revelation 21:8. But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake, 
which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, dear friend, this is bad news, but I have some good news for you. Jesus Christ said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart to save your soul and to change your life, and he will do it, for the Bible says in Romans 10, 9 through 13, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart, your heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember that at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus, and nothing else. God bless you.